is he doing there? Is he looking at something in his hand was driving it into the throat, it looked like. Maybe a lollipop? I don't know. I guess it was. Look at that. What is he going to do? Ricky now is taunting the crowd. No, no. Putting it under his left armpit. Oh, my goodness. That's bad intentions. Now the right side. Oh, God. Beware, Mayor. Yeah, you bet you. You bet you. He blocks it. Mayor turns it around, getting that lollipop back towards Ricky. Is he going to get it? Oh, he's got it. The mayor put the lollipop into Ricky's mouth, and now Ricky stays in his own armpits. RBJ's after him, delivers a huge form on the outside. Referee now is going out to try. Oh, now they're going up in the stands. Oh, no. This cannot be good. Referee now imploring the guys to try to get back. Oh, from middle of the, the seats from the bleachers. A huge cross body. The crowd loving this outside the ring action. Back to her feet with a little help from Jin. Jin, uh, tonight looks like she's out on her feet. Jin stopping that one. What does she have in mind? She gets out of that one with a reverse armbar. What are we trying to do? Getting her into like an armbar submission? She gets her down for sure. Moxie now pulling. Oh, that's it. Referee saw that one. He's got to make a decision here. He's looking for it are out of here there you go folks referee has just tossed toss moxie from ringside he's had enough now jim tonight don't turn your back on jim jim crawls into the ring from behind tonight doesn't know that she's right behind her turns around she does now jim picks her up oh reverse slam fair cover oh my goodness again Two and nine tenths again. My goodness, that was so close. Sends Ricky down the road. Ricky's trying to escape. Now they're going into the back aisle. Of course, I have no idea. I didn't bring my x-ray glasses to know what's going on. So one can only speculate. Oh, it looks like the... Uh-oh. Oh, what's this? Well, we know Ricky is scared of spiders, but obviously he's scared of skeletons, too. Kid Isaac has apparently found a weakness here of the songbird. Ricky is high-tailing it. He's got a chair now for protection. Ricky trying to escape, rolls back into the ring where he thinks he's safe, I think. Duck under the skeleton, duck under a second time. Pulls the skeleton, oh! Skeleton got used on Kid once, twice. Battering ram. The intestinal fortitude by Tanaya here. Coming back up and over, nice arm drag into her she rolled over onto her back. Is she going for that arm submission bar? That uh, submission again? Looks like it. She's got it locked in. She's got it reared back to her chin. We got a submission. Moxie's not here to save her. That's it. We saw the tap. We saw the tap. That's it. Tanaya by submission. My submission. Woo! My goodness. You talk about a one-sided match for a while, the bullies taking over on the good guys, but you know what? Bullies don't win. Good call by referee Cody to throw Moxie out from ringside. He had enough of the shenanigans in the crowd. Really excited with the outcome of this match. Match number two in the books. Match number three coming up shortly.
free for Tag. Right now, Frank delivering really just bludgeoning forearms to Jimmy Jack's head. He's out. He has. Oh no! What happened, Franks? Frank literally broke the ring there. Frank literally broke the ring. Instead, he delivers the splash the old-fashioned way for a cover. Jimmy Jack gets out from under applying a chokehold. Up and over. Noah. Noah rolls out. Now it's the black rose. Scissor, scissor kick off the top there. Robbie now kind of rolling around trying to get out of harm's way. Now we got to cover. New champion. We got a three count and the bell, but we have new tag team champions. Black Rose, Noah, they're running around with the belts. But wait a minute, coming up the ramp. Coming up the ramp is our commissioner, Coach Henneman now. This match now looks like it's going back on again. The match is back underway. Suicide dive takes out the guys. Mondo now measuring up Black Rose. There's the sky high finisher. Now what do we have? We have a cover now by Robbie. There you have it. Now we have a legitimate count. No interference. No nothing. Sky High ends up retaining after Commissioner Henneman comes out, and I will say rightfully so, to restart the match after seeing the foot on the rope. Jimmy Jack, I hope Jimmy's ready to get back in here, trying to get up and over the rope. Sized up with Sarge. What is this? Oh, Brandon. Brandon G coming in the ring. What was that with the book? is coming in here oh that's the rebel now even in the odds standing drop kick sends Sarge out Frank now it's three on two Brandon's trying to deliver orders to having Frank but Sergeant says ah get out of here Frank now it's a three outs Brandon is not in good super even the look at this even the mascot the Cougar mascot is in there. Holy cow to cow. Everybody's delivering shots. Will the Cougar get one in? The referee. My goodness, crazy stuff what happened. What, ha what happened in that, we got ropes to fix, turnbuckles to straighten up and post. 
but nonetheless, Rebel is here. Jack Boys, the Cadence Cougar. Hey, what a match. Well, referee Cody is deeming this to continue, so now there's Papa stirring. Referee Cody now administering the 10 count. Nick going up. Up and over. Papa Yase out of the way. And Nick crashes through the door. Quickly, referee Cody goes out to make sure Nick is still in one piece. Uh-oh. So Cody's waiting for help. Sky High coming out. This is not good. This is not bird well. Papa Yase now not knowing what's going on over there. Cody called for help. Papa Yase now looks a little bit in distress, seeing what happened to his partner here. This is a this is what happens when you have a number one contender's match. You lay everything on the line. Referee Cody trying to keep Pop at bay while Sky High is tending with the referee to Nick. Oh, he's pointing to the skeleton. Why is he pointing to the skeleton? He's got the skeleton up by the throat. Is he going to try to drop the skeleton into the oh a kick to the mid like the midsection up and over for a power bomb oh no Ricky had the skeleton up for a power bomb but the mayor said uh uh kick Ricky from behind Ricky somersaulted literally into the candy corn now, Kid Isaac, now, I don't, what is he doing? Oh, we're getting the skeleton to clap the crowd into the skeleton going off the ropes, doing a cartwheel, spinning up and over. Suicide dive by the skeleton on top of Ricky lands. I think, I, you know, I've thought I've seen it all since following wrestling in the mid 70s, but I've never seen a skeleton go for a, a suicide bomb. He's calling for it. Oh, what a move. Here we go for the cover. What, no, wait a minute. Why'd the master, the, the referee stopped the count? Because the mastermind, oh, wait a minute. Like the, like the ref is under some sort of spell. The renegade now stops that, threatening to hit the mastermind. Oh, he gets out of the way. He does renegade. He gets clobbered with the book. Now, roll up from behind. RBJ with a roll up to the ring. But Papa, though, somehow manages to squirm out. Goes to the outside, but there's Xander. High flip over the top rope. Both guys are down. Referee quickly went out. Has the pumpkin. What are we going to see happen here? Kick to the midsection. We're going to see Kid Isaac delivered. Uh-oh. DDT into the pumpkin. Blocking it twice. Three times. Songbird delivers a smash to the back of his. Reverso. Drop toe hold. Ricky landing into the pumpkin. Oh, no. I'm hoping for Ricky's hair dryer and, and, and hair wash person that that pumpkin is empty. Needed a face. Here we go for a cover. And we get it. Wow. Papa now sort of making his way 
daring. Nick gets back up sky high. Helping Nick to Nick up at least. Looks like he did some damage to his leg, it looks like, or his back, but Yase's having none of that. First Nick back in. Now Papa's pleading with Sky High to just back off, let him finish here. Nick in the middle of the ring, but referee Cody now is back in checking on Nick. Oh, a Pele kick from Nick. I don't know where he got that energy, but now he's fired up for him by Papa. Nick just teetering over. Papa was about to do a move and Papa saw Nick's eyes glaze over and Nick just kind of limped over. Oh, playing a little possum. Obviously he hurt his back through the door. Got up with a high knee. Oh, a reverse elbow delivered by Papa. That's not gonna help his Nick, but a kid, look at his back. All these kicks, everything in his hip. Not functioning at 100% after going through the door. Oh, <laughs> Papa delivers. Here it is, number one contender. Oh my goodness. Somehow, somehow, Nick gets up before the three count. This is not gonna be good for his back. Oh, here we go. And there it is. Papa Yase in what was what was one of the most brutal physical matches I have seen in a long time. Nick surviving a door obviously did some damage to his hip, but more importantly, we now know who will be is the number one contender and will be facing Fresco Matic for the BVW heavyweight championship Nick. what a sign of respect after a hard fought match and Nick Xander asking Sky High to come in and help him up Papa Yase helping him up obviously Nick did some damage to his hip what a great sign of respect and what a way to end cadence number three here we want to thank the folks the Cadence Cougars for hosting us for number three. Papa Yase now holding court with the guys with Nick and Sky High. Nick and Papa. Sign of mutual respect, hugging it out, but again, we now know who the number one contender will be taking on Fresco, and that is none other than Papa Yase. All right, with that, ladies and gentlemen, hope you enjoyed cadence number three. We'll see you next time for more action with Big Valley Wrestling. Good night, everybody.